Konnichiwa, I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 87. First up, DevTools now has better support for CSS grid debugging. Say you have a grid with three defined areas, top, bottom one, and bottom two, with two columns set to one FR and two FR. Here is how the page will look. To inspect the grid, go to the elements panel and click on the new grid batch next to the element. This will toggle the grid overlay and line numbers. To customize the overlay, open the new layout pane. Try to enable the show area names checkbox. You can see the area names are now displayed on screen. Or try to toggle the show track sizes checkbox to inspect both the authored and computed track sizes. For example, in this label, it shows track sizes 1FR and 96.66px. Check out our new documentation to learn more on CSS grid debugging. Next, you can now emulate authenticators and debug the web authentication API with the new web Authent tab. Prior to this new web Authent tab, you needed physical authenticators to test your implementations. Open the web Authent tab from the menu, more options, more tools, web Authent. Enable the virtual authenticator environment checkbox and create a new authenticator with your choice of protocol transport, and other options. After that, you can try to register a new credential or perform authentication from your web page. Notice that the credential state is updated in real time, making the debugging experience much easier. Learn more about the web Autumn feature in our documentation. We have an engineering blog that shares how we built the web Autumn tab too. Make sure you check that out. You can now view any two tools at once by moving the tools between the top and the bottom panel. For example, if you would like to view the network and the sources panel together, you can right click on the sources panel and select move to bottom to move it to the bottom. This way, you can click on the network resource initiator and inspect it in the sources panel without leaving the context. Next up, the Elements panel has a couple of new updates. There is a new computer sidebar pane in the Styles pane. Click on this button to toggle the computer sidebar pane. You can now view both Styles and Computer pane on the same screen. We have also added a new checkbox to let you group CSS properties in the Computer pane. In the Elements panel, select an element. Toggle the group checkbox to group the CSS properties. Say you are working on adjusting the layout of an element. This new feature makes it easier for you to selectively focus on just the set of related properties that you care about. The Lighthouse panel is now running Lighthouse 6.4 with two new audits. The preload fonts validates if all optional display fonts were preloaded. Valid source maps audits if a page has valid source maps for large and first party JavaScript. Last one, you can now view the reporting to endpoint for cross origin embedder policy called IP and cross origin opener policy called OP in the frame details view. In the application panel, scroll down and click on the frame. The reporting to endpoint is displayed under the security and isolation section. Notice that DevTools also displays a report only label for co-ip and co-op that are set to report only mode. Go to web.dev slash co-op dash co-ip to learn more about the reporting to endpoint and how to make your site cross origin isolated. Here is a bonus tip of a recent but lesser known CSS debugging feature. The Focus Visible Pseudo class is a new CSS selector that aims to make styling focus more predictable. You can now use DevTools to force and inspect the Focus Visible state. In the Elements panel, select an element and toggle the element state. Enable the Focus Visible checkbox to force and inspect the styles. You might be wondering what the difference is between Focus Visible and Focus CSS selector. 
Hawker's Visible invokes the same heuristic that the browser uses when it is deciding whether to show the default focus indicator. On the other hand, when you use focus to style an element, it tells the browser to ignore its heuristic and to always show your focus style. In some situations, this can break the user's expectation and lead to a confusing experience. All right, find out more about new features in Chrome DevTools 87 in our blog post. See you in six weeks. Thanks for watching. <music>